didn't get it out. <coughs> to... No. legacy the natural birth queen wasn't that a phenomenal unassisted birth she pretty much nailed it I love her patience throughout her birth there was no rushing the process at all the low grunts the upright birthing the calm speaking from her doula with the camera there for emotional support and her husband who just stood behind her and really supported her now, what do you guys think about catching and receiving your babies? Is this something that you really, really want to do, you've done before, or this is something that you don't mind at all if you don't do it? Let me know in the comment section down below. So for some moms, they really, really want to give birth into their own hands because the rewards can be so enormous. I mean, so many midwives talk about the thrill of the catch when they help a mom catch or receive their baby. And honestly, it is one of the most amazing, beautiful experiences in the world. Touches energy, it's love, and what an amazing way for the first hands to touch your baby, to be the hands of your own or your own family members after those nine months of love and caring in the womb. If you want to know more about Trudy's birth, she shares her story on the Legacy Birth channel. I'll put the link in the description down below. So for an unassisted birth, your goal should really be for your baby to be as developed as possible. So this is something that you want to think about whether you are deciding to have or use any natural inducing remedies because the brain is only two-thirds developed before 37 weeks. And the lungs, the liver, the muscles will be more fully developed at 40 weeks. So this is something that you definitely want to consider if you're having an unassisted birth, because your baby will be able to breathe better on its own. It'll also be able to suck and swallow more effectively, making breastfeeding easier. So as you get closer to the end of your pregnancy, and if you are planning an unassisted birth, you definitely want to keep in mind that the closer to 40 weeks you get, the more developed your baby will be. Knowledge is power. If she can do it, if I can do it, if other moms on Legacy Birth can do it, you can do it too. Trust in your body, trust in nature, and let it be your guide. Go to LegacyBirth.com to get the unassisted birth course now.
Legacy, the natural birth queen. Today I have with me my husband. That was a beautiful, beautiful birth. Did you enjoy that birth video? Yes. Do you like watching birth videos with me? <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to Trudy Wilbraham on Instagram and on YouTube. Thank you for coming on our Legacy birth today. You're welcome. This week and the next week coming up, we are going to be doing a few Valentine's Day themed videos. We're going to pick whatever word is in here and then we have to use these words in a poem for each other. Okay. Then we're going to read the poem to each other and you guys are going to decide which poem was the best and you guys can comment down below. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says Subscribe. It, it says, says subscribe. subscribe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the word. Oh my goodness. Crush. Crush. Oh my. Puppy God. love. <laughs> we picked all the hard words, <laughs> literally. Like okay. there's easy ones in here, like a door, and we got crush and puppy love. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this is a cool, cute... Dance? Dance! <laughs> Let's see what I get. Come on, juicy words. Red. Red. <laughs> Dance and crush. Finish first and then I'll go. Okay. Just hope it works, but it could be a disaster. Ready? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So you wanna go first or you want me to go first? I want you to go first. All right, ready? Red and puppy love. Happy Valentine's Day, my queen. In the morning, we let go of the doves. <laughs> so what can you say? We have puppy love. <laughs> Roses are red. I use red. Violets are blue. What can you say besides I love you? <laughs> That was easy. You nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous now. This is really good. Thank you. Okay, just to let you guys know, it's a little bit of a birth theme. Because it is legacy birth. Dance and crush. You have been my crush <laughs> since 16. Every day I blush to what a journey it's been. On Labor Day, I will smile and dance, but I truly can't wait to hold your hand. Seven cuddles full of love, four kisses as soft as angels above. Twelve minutes of laughing, that's the recipe of birthing our son to be. I love you my handsome king, happy Valentine's Day to bring. <laughs> Pretty good. That was long. And guess what? What? Seven cuddles is Prince's birthday. Seven, mm -hmm. our first son. Four kisses. Four Romeo. kisses is Romeo's birthday. Our second son. And twelve minutes of laughing is the twelfth. Our third son. Good job, baby. <laughs> you did good. Comment down below if you liked the Natural Birth Queens or my husband Chaz's. If you're still watching this video, put it, hashtag V-Day. Hashtag V-Day. And that's how I know that you're still watching. 
and I love to see it. I love to see which queens watched all the way to the end. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below. Down below. It says subscribe. subscribe. It says subscribe. Woo! And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.